Welcome to my conservatory. Can you see me? Can we put this? Is that better or worse? So anyway, um, I want a couple of things in this video. Hope you don't mind. Um, the first thing is a few people have asked in past videos, especially the hot and spicy. Um, chili. How's your chili plant doing? I'll show you now. There it is. Uh, still flowers on it. Um, some small scotch bonnet plant this is on there there's a green little one there flowers uh, there's another red one there these are ready to pick really here we've got one that's changing and they usually go from green uh, to yellow to orange to red it's two there uh, there's a yellow one there on this way and there's one behind it if you can see that small one if I'm punching in the right place it's in good health as you know we're getting to the later part of November now and it's really good and I feed it just bear with me here we go back again I feed it with this stuff um, chili feed uh, this from the chili shop in Bumaris and uh, it contains uh, seaweed or something what ch chili plants love as a mixture of stuff and it certainly worked and all this was as many of you know was um i uh, bought some scotch bonnets from the supermarket and one of them was a bit soft so i thought i'm not going to use that so i opened it with a knife uh not with my fingers um use the knife scrape the seeds out onto some kitchen towel and then filled that pot with compost sprinkled the uh, seeds off the towel randomly a uh, thin layer of compost again and then dampened them and after two weeks nothing was happening I think into three weeks I thought they're not going to grow are they so I wasn't far off throwing it and I just seen some little tiny things sprouting through and they all started to grow then so and that's the end result so it's doing very well um, it's quite warm in here these are open usually but I've closed them for filming this so it's doing okay, that's the Scotch Bonnet chilli plant. Now just while you're here, this one here is uh, one Mrs H planted in one of these sort of ring things. Um, I asked her what the, what the, she just opened up, I think she bought a pack of seeds, planted them and walked away, <laughs> but they're flowering. Um, she doesn't know what the, uh, what they are, I presume they could be. Uh, scotch bonnets I don't know we'll see and we'll tell more when they start to, or if they start to produce uh, chilies okay so in this bit uh, someone asked and uh, I think it was the last hot and spicy I spoke about how I keep my bacon in a box and this is it it's a clip lock box like that and uh, that's the bacon and there's a tray in the bottom if you can see there um, so that keeps sort of aeration around the bacon it's not actually on the floor or the base of the box um, I buy my bacon usually from a butcher and they vacuum pack it in sort of slices of eight and you can see these are quite decent you know they're not thick they're not too thick and they're not too thin they're just right for cooking um, I, I pull it out of the vacuum pack and I dry it with some kitchen towel paper towel and then place it in this box and as you can see it's nice and dry um, not wet and it keeps well fantastic this is smoky bacon short back so that's my box so hopefully that answered that question for you I suppose um, it does sound silly doesn't it, when somebody says I keep my bacon in a box so <laughs> that's what it is so on the Monday Tuesday beginning of the week I like to um, use up any spare food ingredients from the weekend so potatoes green beans I want to use this tin of peas and carrots and of course I'm gonna add my own uh, homegrown leek look at that beautiful the smell is gorgeous and it's going to give me a chance to test my new knife this uh, Almazan kitchen Serbian 
uh, chef's knife. I'm going to try that out. Uh, they've got a YouTube channel uh, worth checking out. Yeah, it's a great channel actually. They do um, cooking. One of the best channels I've seen for outdoor cooking videos. Um, they don't say anything. They just camera on the job, chicken in the oil, pestle and mortar with all the spices, ingredients. Beautiful. You can sort of get the ingredients of the the um, what's the recipe as as you watch them. So all I'm going to do is a stew. I've got no meat. And I'm not going to buy any specially for it. I'm going to use up all these ingredients and uh, make a sort of vegetable stew for a couple of meals. So in there I've added a, a Noxo stock pot, first time I've tried them. So that's what the colouring is. I've had some Himalayan pink salt. Ground black pepper. And some rosemary and thyme. So bring that to the boil, bring it to a simmer, put the lid on. So there we have it, all ready. Don't know how that looks, but uh, <laughs> to you. And I've done some uh, crusty batons, French bread. Put them in the oven so they're hot and the butter melts. And that'll accompany them. So here we have it. The only thing needed now is some of this uh, sweet pickled red cabbage. And that can go on the side there. There we go. So the taste test. Done perfectly for a winter stew for me. The vegetables are just starting to go. Just over, just nearly overdone. Mm. My grandmother would have been proud she loved this. Mm. There's plenty there. Um, have a meal tomorrow. Mm. Dip it in the gravy. One of my leeks. Mm. Homegrown can't beat it. And then accompanied by a nice strong cup of Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire gold, this one. Oh, can't beat it. So that's it. Um, Thank you for watching something a bit different, um, something very easy and um, it means no food's gone to waste and it's given me a couple of days of meals, so uh, healthy meals as well, well apart from the bread and butter maybe. <laughs> so thanks for watching 
And then um, I'll see you in the next one. Hot sauce is good in this as well. Might be an idea, I think. See ya, take care.